guys, it is Kari NYI, and I'm back again with another video for the first time in a long time, y'all. But I swear I'm coming back now. I had a realization, an epiphany, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, you know what? I need to get back into my vlogs and all that type of stuff, especially because my life is about to change a lot right now. If you guys don't know, I am preparing for nursing school, praying and hoping that I can start nursing school next semester. But anyway... So this video is supposed to be a vlog, but I realized that I have so many changes going on. I kind of need a way to kind of update you guys before the vlog starts. So I'll try and put the time on the screen where if you want to skip past the update, you can. But I need to tell y'all what's going on because y'all, I know in my last video, you guys saw me working at an eye doctor. So I don't quit that job <laughs> and I'm about to spill the tea as to why. Um, actually, I have to do my last two weeks. I thought about just kind of leaving one day and never coming back. But once I really, really thought about it, yeah, I'm just personally not about that life. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, when jobs fire you, they don't give you two week notice. So why should you give them two weeks notice when you quit? I hear that argument and I understand. But especially from a patient care aspect, I just can't do it. Like, I, I'm just the type of person where... I know you should worry about, you know, pleasing yourself and stuff, but at the same time, I do still have a little bit of people pleaser left in me, so I would just feel too bad to just leave a job one day and not come back. Like, I have to let somebody know I'm leaving. So, anywho, they know I'm leaving in two weeks, but... <laughs> First of all, I don't really think I'm interested in eye care, which, you know, that's neither here nor there. But this job, it pays well, but they don't pay well enough for all the stuff they be wanting you to do. And I'm just not about that life. And then if you guys don't know, I'm a very, like, I don't know. I, I feel like some people take it wrong, but I just, I personally, I just want better for myself. I finished my medical assistant program. I had already from the jump, like before I even graduated, been saying like, oh, I'm going farther. Medical assistant is just going to be a stepping stone for me and I'm going farther up the ladder. <laughs> These people at this job, when I tell you some of them get on my last nerves, I cannot make this stuff up. Like they get, oh, I sound like Kevin Samuels right there, but yeah, these folks get on my last nerves. Okay, um, I am dressed. Let me show you guys my outfit. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. That's why I do my outfit of the days. But this is what I'm wearing. Y'all, it's finally fall. It's a little bit chilly outside. I'm about to walk my dog and then go get something to eat. And then I got to get started on work because that's another thing. Like this job put me so far behind on work because they always try to have somebody work some overtime. And I was just like, no, I'm not about that life. I'm not getting paid enough for this. And I know y'all probably thinking, well, if you're going to be a nurse, you're going to have a lot of that. But that's different in a hospital setting. That's different when you have a bachelor's degree. And it's different when you're making thousands of more dollars than you are as a medical assistant. Like it doesn't make sense for a medical assistant to be working all this overtime for a small wage like it makes no sense you guys so i'm here i've been craving pizza all day but now that i'm at the pizza place there's a chinese food place right next to it and now i kind of want chinese food so i don't know i want to go in here and see if they have the pizza ready because that's another thing the last couple times when i came to little caesar's they never have a pizza ready and they be like it's 20 it's gonna be a 20 minute wait and i'm just thinking then why do y'all advertise hot and ready and y'all never have anything hot and ready so i don't know and then also hold on let me turn my camera around because y'all know how nosy i am okay so y'all see how this paris nails place says open under new management yeah i'm so nosy i never understand why businesses advertise that kind of stuff because to me as soon as i see new management on something to me that means that you had problems at first like you had bad management so it's like now nobody wants to go there that's crazy to me i don't know personally i wouldn't advertise that but do you yeah, so it's that weather out where it's not too cold, it's not too hot, so I got my windows down. And y'all, when I was getting ready to go in there to the pizza place, and thank goodness they actually did have one ready, it was not a wait. So I got me some pepperoni pizza and then just some garlic sauce. I'm about to go home and eat that and decide if I'm doing homework in my apartment or if I'm going to the library. But anywho, there was a man like that was all up in the business that does not pay him. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure he was just wondering what I was doing, but I'm like, I, I can't believe it's 2022 and people still don't know about vlogging like that. So I was just kind of like, hey, you know. know. A 
Okay, you guys, so it is the next day, and this is probably going to be the last day of this vlog, just because I'm probably going to make it a weekend vlog. Yeah, my makeup look kind of harsh there, but I couldn't find my foundation bottle this morning, so I just have concealer and then, like, some contour and stuff on. But this is my Sunday outfit that I'm going to wear to church later on. Um, I'm not going to church until the evening service, but I'm about to go to the store. I know I was just in Kroger yesterday, but I forgot coffee creamer, and then I'm probably going to stop at Starbucks. And other than that, what else do I have to do? So I need to go to the store, and then I'm going to the library because I have a lot of work to do, and I need to kind of, like, focus. But I also, yesterday when I was at Kroger, I bought stuff to make chili. So that's what I'm going to do today is cook and not eat out. But I just don't really have like a real schedule on when I need to start doing everything. So yeah, but we definitely got to get cracking on that schoolwork, honey, because that's the most important. Y'all, does my makeup... Okay, comment down below if you think this makeup looks harsh. Because I was actually going for a natural type look. If you do, be honest. Because, yeah, I'd rather somebody tell me the truth than for me to be giving clown all day long, you know? <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I'm back at home. So I decided to give you guys like a little decor update because um, my apartment has come a long way from when I first moved in here. I feel like a lot of the reason why I didn't necessarily decorate that much when I first moved in is because I didn't know how long I was going to stay here. I thought I might move back home. Um, if y'all don't know, I used to previously live with someone else. So I thought, you know, I just didn't know what I thought. But anyway, so this is what I got going on so far in my living room. I love that this room is like so different than all the other rooms in my apartment because I want this to be like a common space for if I have friends and stuff, everybody feels comfortable here. So not necessarily all girly and pink, just kind of happy for everybody, if that makes any sense. So obviously this looks kind of strange with nothing right here, or at least to me it does. So I want to get another one of those frames to put over there. Um, I actually put the words revival in here myself, so that's probably what I'm going to do if I get another frame is just put something cute in there that I want to be in there. And then I just have like this dream catcher and all these daisies and then a bunch of crosses um, for Jesus on here. And then I got this little thing from, where did I get this from? I don't know, my hallway's a mess right now, so I'm trying not to show you guys, but yeah, I got this hanging. And if you turn over, I have that. And I used to have like a little drawer right here, but I went ahead and got rid of that. That's going in my room. I got to clean that up in a second. But yeah, so this is like a, this little basket and I still have the tag on it because I was debating if I was going to keep it or not. But at this point, it's okay, y'all. So I, I ran out of space. But anyway, this is it. Um, my glasses are just sitting right here. Don't mind. And I got all this fall decor sitting here with my pumpkins and things. Um, this is my grandmother that actually just passed away, so I got this picture while I was at her funeral, and I just thought it was a really cool, like, back-in-the-day photo, and actually, my grandma looks so much like me in this picture, well, I guess I look so much like my grandma, but yeah, because I, if y'all don't know, when my hair is out, I have afro just like that, and this outfit is something that I would wear, like, I would recreate the outfit, then I have my plant that's been making it for a long, long, periodically time, y'all, I've been taking care of that thing. So then I got my couch. These pillows need to be gone. Like they're just basically nothing at this point. I've had them for so long. But honestly, I don't have money to do that right now because I'm about to be jobless pretty soon and just a nursing student. Then I just got this rug because Charleston has destroyed basically every rug that I put in here. So I went ahead and got one that wasn't that same material as my last one. So hopefully he won't tear this one up. Then I got this tree here and my little sign that says, as for me and my house, we serve the Lord, period. Then this is a bunch of Bible verses. Yeah, I'm trying to go fast so I don't waste a bunch of space. Then I have this standalone desk that I can move if I ever want to stand up and work. But mainly I just have stuff on here. This is one of the pastors at my church card. So I'm going to cover that up just so y'all have too much information about me. But he left that, I guess, so I can call him or whatever. And then this is, a, um, well, I'm saying this, this is a Bible, <laughs> not me describing what a Bible is, but anyway, and then it says do all things with love. First Corinthians verse 16, 14. This is a thank you card from when I was a medical assistant with my first doctor. This is actually from one of the, um, students he had, cause he used to do a lot of medical students and it just matches my theme. So I kept it right here and she was really sweet. 
So then I have this prayer box. It just has um, obviously prayers inside of it. So I won't open that up. And then I have pictures of me and my family and y'all see the detailing it matches. And then you can't really see the rope that it's hanging on, but if you could, it matches the theme. Don't mind this, this is a mess. And then I have this, and this was supposed to be on the outside of my door, but I cannot find something that's strong enough to hold that thing up because if you can't tell, it's wood. So it's very heavy and every time I hang it up, it falls down. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with that. And then Charleston's cute little area to match. Got some candles sitting up here. This is my baptismal um, certificate. And then there's just little happy fall signs. So that's what I'm working with in my living room right now. And then I spray painted this. Because like I said, I don't have money for new stuff. So I just spray painted it this orangey brownish color. It's not perfect, but I think it really went with the theme. And if you guys have any other ideas of things I can put in here, like I really want an egg chair, but then again, y'all know I'm kind of broke right now. But when I get the money, I'm going to get like a full size egg chair for me in here. But yeah, so I need to start cooking because I know I'm just going to get hungry and then want to go out to eat, which doesn't make sense when I have food here. So I need to go ahead and start cooking for the day. Okay guys, so this is basically everything that I'm going to use to make my chili. Not everything, but mostly everything. Um, most of the stuff that's in a can is Kroger brand because y'all, like I said, I need to start saving money. I'm about to be broke out here once nursing school starts. Um, I got my spices, my chili mix, some sugar. This is my blender thing. I have to find the, the pieces that go in there. Then I'm going to, um, wash this pot out because it's been a while since I used it and it looks a little dingy. So I'm going to wash that. Um, this is just like sugar on the top of here because these have been in there for a long period of time. Then I got my vegetable oil that I'm just going to put in my pans when I make my cornbread to go with my chili. So yeah, that's about to be my little project of the afternoon plus doing homework. I think... Okay guys, so I just wanted to come quick. I am working right now and make an official exit of the video. So I just want to say if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.